Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of DIY Ideas. Um, topic today is AliExpress king size um, machine. How does it work? So in my last video, um, we were looking at um, knitting flats with the basic instructions from Adi itself. Um, I had a few problems um, for sure. Uh, let's see. Um, I definitely kind of lost a few of the stitches here on the sides. I probably didn't have the tension right. Um, but I have, um, in the meantime, um, looked up some um, tips of how to make this uh, yeah turn out better and um, how to make a nice slip stitch here on the side and so let's get started again we want to start um, with our next project so what do we do we will put our um, counter here on zero and i have looked to see when exactly this changes um, in the rounds but also in flat um, knitting it will switch I will go back and forth a little bit. When the white needle comes to the front, okay, did you hear that switch? Um, so this, yeah, here the counter switches. Right there, just before we get to the black um, needles here. And this we also had in the um, last video. So the black ones are our stop um, when you're knitting um, straight or flat. So we're only um, using 43 because the three black ones are stoppers. Um, if I want to knit um, in flats, I will put the setting here um, and the counter on zero. Some people do this after, um, you know, the initial stitches um, because that's what the instructions say. <laughs> and um, this is our lever here and we will put this on um, flat knitting. It was already there, but I did it anyway again to show you guys. Okay, then we will take our thread. Um, we have set the counter to zero. We have put it on flat knitting. It's the same yarn. Um, it's meant for size four to five um, needles. And the king size um, says you can use four to eight. So this should work. We're right kind of in the middle. I'm going to take um, the end here. It's with a little bit extra, so it kind of touches the table underneath. And this is our first white needle here. So we will put the thread in there. And now we are kind of doing back and forth, back and forth, a counterclockwise. Um, we will turn it and then now in front, now behind, in front, behind, in front, behind, and so on. Okay, and we have reached the last white hook um, or needle. And this last time I also put it around the black one, but I saw a video um, that put it around this red hook. So let's see what happens. Um, so these are kind of all little hooks. Um, kind of looks like, I don't know, the head of a parrot. <laughs> and these kind of look like, I don't know, cobra snakes um, or rattlesnakes. Um, okay, so and then I, um, after putting it through the red little hook, I put it here through my guide. And so let's see which um, opening works best for um, our yarn. We can use the this one here. Um, this is a little smaller or if the thread is a little bigger, you can put it through um, the hole on the top. But all that matters really is that this is closed so that no um, needle breaks later on and you can just turn it easily. I am here still at zero. So we put um, stitches in, but now that we are moving to back to the white needle here on this side, um, the counter should um, start counting. Okay, let's get started. We will turn this, um, if, yeah, we will continue turning this. This will not um, continue here. So I see here, 
already that this is looking good but here I don't know if you can see um, the thread didn't go where it's supposed to be going because this one should be in front there okay so I just saw that randomly um, I'm just gonna give you that advice maybe double check that here um, every other of these little hooks is in the front or in the back in the front and the back you know so on the video here because the thread is yellow it might be a little hard to see but I'm sure in real life um, you'll be able to see this much better so yeah I just give you the advice of um, having a look just to make sure so this one yes this one no this one yes this one no okay so this one should have it but it didn't have it when I was just looking at it so I just corrected that and so yeah just nice tip here make sure to have a double check um, it also actually says this in the instructions okay so now we go backwards it kind of was a little stiff there for a second but now it's moving better okay so we are here with number one and now it moves to number two that means that every row we count so not every other row but every single row one there one back is always counted we can go to the black hooks here the last one's always a stop we can continue and then we go backwards and we always want to make sure that the tension on the thread stays the same um, my ball of yarn just fell to the ground but um, you know um, so yeah we just want to make sure that the tension kind of stays the same on the thread so that they come out more even um, and here is another tip um, so if we reach the most outer um, hook so in this case the right white one um, just make sure that the last stitch is like kind of down so that we don't get a like double stitch here I'm gonna do this again in a second here the thread kind of came apart and so yeah just make sure you're paying attention to what's happening we are learning um, together <laughs> um, how to use this kind of machine so here again we are reaching the end as so we can't turn it any further and we go, are going backwards and here the question is do we let the thread kind of do its thing and um, sometimes the last stitch kind of gets too loose or do we take the last uh, stitch here I'm going to try to show this here so it's this one um, do we kind of pull it a little tighter so you can see there's a lot of kind of room um, or there was let's say um, more more thread here than in the other ones okay so that's what I was trying to avoid here by pulling on it a little bit is to make it more even um, for yeah just more even to the rest okay and yeah this is um so we have yeah just nicer um corners here borders um that are easy and look good and now we go backwards again and here just make sure um that this stitch here the most yeah the kind of the last one is all the way down in this case it worked really well otherwise um, yeah just make sure that the tension stays the same I don't think it's that easy um, to also keep that in mind just because there's a lot of other things to do um, I am using my ball of yarn here from the outside and not from the inside um, yeah, I would recommend not doing that. <laughs> okay, here again, that's our border. 
and this one here try to make sure it's a little tighter and then we go back okay so let's say I have enough rows here or yeah then we can um, start taking this off or out um, and with that we take our thread um, all my bluff yarn or whatever is left and we put this in the middle and close this back up and here we are on row 28 um, in the future we can have a look uh, what kind of number is good, maybe an even or uneven number. Um, but for now, the position is really important. Um, so we're now going um, counterclockwise again. Okay, so we're starting here with the first one, um, the first white um, hook. And this one, um, we're going to take off um, the thread and that only works while the white um, hook is kind of disappearing into um, the machine. So what we had here at the very end is not a nice border, um, but more like just weird stitches that are just like laying around. You can kind of pull this a little tighter um, or if you want it to be kind of um, ripped like this. Um, you just kind of pull it tight um, and that's it but um, most of us probably want a type of slip stitch or something like that um, I'm going to use another very different color for this so we can see it better um, I'm going to take a piece that is you know just a little longer than yeah the whole the whole work and then I will put this into my nice practical needle that came with the machine and we will start with the most outer stitch and we will put it on our needle when the white hook goes down. Okay, so we turn um, counterclockwise and now we see the hook is, has disappeared and we can go from in between here, in between the two of the little red things and we can take the stitch and so we will do this every single stitch whoops okay number two and number three who is courageous um can do this oops this actually fell without me wanting to um didn't mean to do that Let's see if I can still put them on my needle. Yeah, as you can see, something can always go wrong. Um, so I'm going to try and pay a lot of attention here just because it rolls up a little bit. Okay, so this is obviously yeah, me trying to show you guys something and then it's not working. Um, and I lost one already, but with the needle here, I can probably pull this back up. Um, so yeah, this is troubleshooting. <laughs> because obviously not everything always goes wrong. It goes right. <laughs> okay, and now we have, um, yeah, a piece of knitting that kind of is hanging on top of like a it looks like a um a thing for like a curtain um but yeah i'm going to put this onto my knitting needles now and then um show you what i do but so um yeah soon when i put this on my needles i'm going to pull this one up with a crocheting hook just so i have a good stitch here as well um, so yeah, you have to be really, really attentive, um, especially if you don't have that much experience with them, um, because it's not just, you know, putting it in and then just letting it work for you. Um, you definitely still have to pay attention and troubleshoot. Okay. 
And so this is what we're going to do here now. So obviously kind of depends on what you are trying to achieve, but um, I'm just going to put this here on the other needle. Um, and then the older one here, oop, if I can get it, we'll pull it over the new one. And then um, again, and we'll just do the same motions here. Okay. Then here, um, we kind of corrected it with our crocheting hook. Um, I just saw that it's um, it was uh, the wrong way around, so I just flipped it over. And that's how we continue. All right. And so um, we are done with this for now, but I've also learned something here. Um, and you can see here, it's pretty loose in general. Um, so for the, um, yeah, kind of needle size four, let's say the machine doesn't have a number four. It's more like a, maybe, yeah, I don't know, something bigger. Um, this is really nice though, and it's maybe great for like a summer top or something that's supposed to be airy um, and kind of loose. But um, yeah, just to be sure um, that uh, you're not making it too tight when you're using your needles. So this is a yarn um, type 4-5, and I used that same, you know, needle, a size 5, um, as I would usually do. But now it's already too tight because it's just different than the other side, right? So maybe use a different size needle or just do it very, very loosely. Um, what else did I learn? The first and the last, um, the uh, yeah, stitch, kind of make sure it's a little tighter than it's doing it so you have a nice border. Um, let's have a look here. And it's definitely better than my first try. <laughs> um, as you can see here, this did not look so good, but I think um, all in all, we have a, a much better border now. And so, yeah, the very last one um, and on the very left side, you just kind of pull it a little tighter and um, on the right side, just make sure it's always a little like push downwards. And so this one is a little, there's one that's a little funny maybe still, but in all in all, it looks pretty good. Um, here we have a little error. It's very loose. Um, I think something maybe didn't, yeah, I don't know, something didn't really work right. But I think, um, yeah, with a little more, um, you know, practice and stuff, it'll get much better. Um, and you can kind of like pull it in the right way. Uh, so it looks a little more even. Yeah, but yeah, it just kind of has to, to lay and stretch a little bit. Um, but yeah, I am still very interested in how else we can use it and what else we can do with it. Um, yeah, I think the borders here look a little better. Um, on the bottom side here, you can do a very similar thing that we did on the other side. Um, so we can take our needles, you know, and um, make them look nice. Um, you can do this with a crocheting needle or um, crocheting, uh, crocheting hooks or knitting needles. And yeah, I really hope that this video was also informative for you guys. And in the next video, we will, um, you know, have a look at how to use um, the machine in a little like shorter way. So make a shorter um, piece of work and so yeah we will also have a look at um how we can figure out exactly yeah how to get out of this machine what exactly we want and yeah until then i wish um you guys a lot of fun with um this machine and um yeah please go ahead and write me write to me in the comments um if you're interested in this if you have any questions um and yeah i'm always happy to see any comments um any likes and then see you next time bye